Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Do you use Adobe Reader on your Mac to view PDFs? Well, you probably don't need it at all. There's something better and you'll already have it. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So if you ever need to open up, view, and even fill out PDF files, you may use an app called Adobe Reader to do that. It's a free app from Adobe and there's nothing inherently wrong with it. You can get it from get.adobe.com slash reader, download it, and use it to view all your PDFs. But chances are you don't need it at all. I'm surprised at how many Mac users I come across that think that they need Adobe Reader on their Mac to be able to view or fill out PDFs. But in fact you already have a tool on your Mac that can do this. It comes as part of the operating system and it's pretty much as capable as Adobe Reader. In some ways it works even better. If you've never installed Adobe Reader, in fact, it's the default app for opening up a PDF. So for instance, if I want to open up a PDF like this one, I just double click on it and it opens up in Preview. So Preview is an app that's part of the operating system. If you're using Mac OS you have Preview already. It's built in. There's nothing to download, nothing to install. And Preview does all of the basic functions you need with a PDF. For instance, here I can simply view this PDF very easily. I can even zoom in and out. I can select and copy. All the basics for viewing. It handles multi-page PDFs great. On the left you can have thumbnails. You could turn the thumbnails on or off. There's even a table of contents mode if the PDF has a table of contents. You can even do bookmarks and highlights. And you can switch from a continuous scroll mode to a single page mode or even a two page mode where you can view two pages side by side like this. If it's a form like this you'll find you can use Preview to fill it in. Just click on the fields and type whatever it is you need to type. Now note PDFs of course have to be built with these forms in there. So this is something that depends on the PDF itself. But if it's got these form fields in there you can fill it out in Adobe Reader or using Preview. You could even sign with Preview. Click here and one of the options is Signatures. You can create a new signature here using your trackpad, your camera, or your iPhone. And once you have signatures you can select one move it in place, resize it to sign documents. Sometimes forms are built where you can't actually fill them in. Here there aren't actual fields here. Whoever created this PDF just made it as a form I guess that you're supposed to print out and then fill in. But you can use these same markup tools here. Click here to add some text. Then you can expand it, move it to where you want, type what you want and fill the form in despite the fact that the PDF isn't built for that. You can use these same tools to simply mark up the document. So if somebody gives you a PDF for you to review and you want to add changes you could add things like circles, you could add arrows, you could add text boxes and describe what it is you'd want to see changed. Put these wherever you want. Even draw right onto the document. Chances are I've described everything that you probably need to do with PDFs. Note that Preview, like Adobe Reader, is not a PDF creation tool. If you want to create documents that are PDFs you would use a tool like Pages on a Mac or even Word or InDesign or anything used to create documents. Instead of printing you would simply export as a PDF to create them. And if you want to edit a PDF the best way to do that is to go back to the original source document. So if somebody created a PDF using Word you would get that Word document, edit it in Word, and generate a new PDF. Just like if they would give you a piece of paper and you wanted to make changes you would get that Word document, make the changes, and then print out a new sheet of paper. Now if you want to create special PDFs, things that have forms in them and other special features for PDFs, then you would need a tool like Adobe Acrobat. That's a PDF creation tool which has all the special features in it and it costs something and it's a totally different thing than Adobe Reader. Now if you've already installed Adobe Reader and you want to switch to using Preview, well you can open up any file in any app you want by control clicking it or right clicking on a mouse, two finger click on a trackpad. This brings up the context menu and select Open With. 
and this will show you all of the different apps you can use to open this type of document. At the top you'll see the default app and if you've installed Adobe Reader it may say Adobe Reader here at the top and Preview may be something down here further. You can select Preview but you could also change your default to Preview. The way to do that is to select any PDF then go to File Get Info or Command I. Then in there go to Open With and you'll see here that same list of apps, the default one and others. You want to select Preview and then click Change All and that will reset your default app for all PDFs to Preview. There's nothing wrong with having both apps on your Mac so you don't necessarily need to uninstall Adobe Reader if you've switched to Preview. Another thing to consider is you may not need to open any app at all because if you just view a PDF in a browser like Safari you'll find that you can do a lot of the things that you need to do right there in the browser. For instance you can read the PDF. You also can fill in parts of the PDF in forms as well. So sometimes you don't even need an app. There are many reasons why people end up with Adobe Reader on their Macs when all they really need is Preview. Maybe you downloaded something from a website and it said you needed Adobe Reader to open this. This is typical of older websites. Other times you may have come from Windows and maybe gotten used to using Adobe Reader over there so you just download it on the Mac to stick with the same experience. But now I suggest that you try Preview instead. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.